Hi friends, uh, today I'll be covering uh, two data types in Excel, which just came up uh, just recently in Microsoft Office 365 Excel are stocks and geography, right? Let me just cover uh, these two features. Uh, stocks actually it provides all the stock. Uh, latest details of the share price, the future to week low, high, the beta, and other information about a stock. Okay, and for that, what you need to know is the, the whatever the stock company names, uh, you just uh, type it out, select that, and click stock. So, uh, the stocks is available in their uh, data and data types. Okay. Maybe we would get a few more data types like this, but currently we have stocks and geography. Geography I'll cover later on. Okay. Once you make this as a stock data type, you can see there's a symbol here and, and it expands to the, the proper company name like Infosys Limited, Data Consultancy Service Limited, and that's the exchange code in fee TCS, in the CFC Bank, and the exchange name is uh, NSE. That's what it is. One, so you have this one. Now I can add a few more fields. I just need to, the most important one. Once you select this, you would get this plus one, insert data, click that. Then you'll get all this <coughs> fields. So let me just see the current price of this. Okay. Yeah, that's the current price of this. Let Maybe let me just add current market price 52 52 week so to week i add 52 week low and 52 week i And anything else you want, you can keep adding it here, like the industry high. Maybe this is today's high and today's low. Okay, that's what. Anything else you want to know, you can just add this P ratio, previous close price. I've added volume, yeah. volume traded today. So that's what you would get. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a dynamic one, it keeps updating uh, very frequently. Let's see this one. Okay, current it's 1881010. Okay. We will just copy here and place the value. Okay, I will come back here and see if maybe let's copy this also. I'm just copying the values just to see if there's any difference later on. Now let's move to geography data types. So again, um, what you need is you need a couple of uh, fields with a city name or anything related to geography. Enter that one, select that, go to data, and click geography. So once you convert, you can see that an icon here, a map icon, then this becomes a geography data type. Okay. Now what you can do is you can do actually some smart fields like which country it is, okay, or which state it is, and um, longitude. That's a good one if you want to really create map or anything like that. Then latitude, right? That's one, like if, if you want anything else, also like population and everything. This is where everything is dynamic. Population of this particular city and which time zone it is. Let me just check what is this description is about. Okay, let me just give a little bit of more about that city. Area of that most between. Yep. 
let's go back to stock and check if something has changed maybe it just updates once in five minutes that's what i noticed what time it updates everything is same as of now let's say f5 refresh i think yep see now it has changed maybe manually we can click the refresh so that it, it, it's it's live data whatever is happening you get but uh, one disclaimer is uh, this is just for your information and should not be used as a tool for trading okay because there's a delay in uh, the time what's happening in the exchange and this so maybe you can just use this feature to track your portfolio in excel right thank you